Hey, Shalom, Matthew. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Call Halayim, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Baasham, Brakak Madash, Brakata Makim. This is Yahweh Tazah coming back with another video. Alright, double honor to the Elves, Great Millstone. Much love and respect to all you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Striving for the hopeful leg, enduring all afflictions, and seeking out your own salvation with fear and trembling. I just want to do a real quick hit. Uh, something that um, I was actually uh, um, experiencing and feeling this morning. Well, this afternoon, you know, I woke up late and now I have to be on the road to work, okay, which is like a two hour drive. And the, you know, basically what it was is that. It was for me to go onto the highways and the byways. You know, it's like you have a, a craving for mm, like a certain food, you know, and so you're at work or, you know, you're in bed. You're like, damn, you know, I'm just going to go over there and get, go, gr go grab a burrito real quick. You know what I'm saying? You know, or whatever. You, sh you should know what I'm talking about. That's how it feels. You know, and, and, and it's, it's spiritual because that's what uh, that's what it says in the book of Matthew chapter 5 where it says uh, thirst blessed are those that thirst and hunger for righteousness so when you go into that word hunger it speaks about craving uh, which is a metaphor for, for, for like food okay and you know I, I I may not have an excuse, but you know, had to had to be at work. Like I said, it was already, um, you know, like what twelve thirty, you know. So I didn't want to be rushing or anything like that. But it's just an, an example to brothers, exhortation and things like that, you know, to not quench the spirit. That's why I have this, this scripture here, you know, so Lord willing, you help watch me, I will shy, will continue to keep that on me. But, you know, even though we go out every weekend, every Saturday, still the spirit will put it on you to where... It wants you to do more, you know, and you have to listen to that, you know. And like I said, it may not be a good video because I'm not exemplifying that example, you know, and I'm bringing up an excuse, but I mean, I, I'm really having to be at work. Um, but I just want to bring this out. Like I said, it's on my spirit to edify any brother out there that may be, you know, feeling that don't fight it. Just do it, all right? Even though I wasn't fighting it, you know, I have to be on the road. So instead, I'm gonna make videos while I'm on the road. And Lord willing, you help us, will shy. We'll keep that, you know? And it's a beautiful thing whenever the spirit is on you to do these things, okay? And you take advantage of it. So, First script is first first Thessalonians 5 and 19. Quench not the spirit. And that's plain. It's 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 simple, quick to the point. Quench not the spirit. Okay. So I'm gonna go into that word quench. Okay, so lock you. Just give me one second. I need to adjust here. Alright, in the outline of biblical usage, it says to extinguish quench a fire or things on fire to be quenched to go out metaphor to quench to suppress suppress stifle of divine influences you see and, it, and it's a divine influence okay because yeah like like i went into that word influence is to be to pour something into which is pouring your spirit your spirit into you to do certain things as it says to go out okay and um, 
That's what it means not to quench the spirit. Okay, don't put it out. And it said of things of fire or things on fire. You see, and that's how we're supposed to be, men on fire. You know, uh, earnest, earnest, and fervent in the spirit, wanting to do this work, man. You know, every every moment we get, every minute that you know we have, is to glorify Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, whether we be on the road, whether we be in our sleep, whether we be wherever, is to glorify Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, it's not because of us. It's not because of um, a person or because it's orders. It's it's the spirit that's moving you, the Holy Spirit. Okay, which is more moving than anything like it says in the book of wisdom of solomon okay it's more moving than anything okay and that's what it means is that it it's gonna move you okay like a like a beat like somebody can play a beat no one's controlling you it's just that beat and you, and you feel it everybody else is chilling but that one beat that comes on you just start moving to it okay that's how y'all about to meow with spirit is and we're not to quench it okay so the point of the video is not only this verse but also to tell you brothers that when, if you feel that that sensation as of a hunger or a craving or a desire do it okay it says to extinguish quench a fire or things on fire to be quenched to go out metaphor to quench to support suppress the stifle of thing of divine influence okay so you don't want it to go out but you want to go out if you know what I'm saying so you know same thing with making videos spirits on you to do a video do it okay um it says nah Def John's definition to extinguish literally or figuratively go out quench okay like I said and all, all of us on a daily you know week in week out we're hoping to have that fire that desire burning in us still no matter what you know whether we have that that um that feeling like I said that craving or that desire or just you just know you have to go out you know and going out saturday you know for sure you're going out on a saturday lord willing you know you're gonna um that's what you're gonna do but what i'm trying to say is that we hope that it, this word the holy spirit is never it's not taken for us that desire to, to worship yahweh okay like i said it's just it's quick to the point quench not the spirit man it's plain okay like I said, I'm using my example. What I what I felt earlier today, late afternoon. Like I said, I woke up late, um, and now I'm on the road, having to go to work, which I'd rather be doing what I what, what the spirit wants me to do. But you know, I have to be at these goddamn jobs. And if anybody knows me, they know that I can't stand fucking work. As far as like having to be there, you know, I'd rather do this full time but it is what it is I'm not going to be out there you know making a profit off people or be a charity case nothing like that you know I have to work just like Yahweh Shai works just like Paul worked you know and when the Lord wills it come out here and do the work but it's just an example to brothers you know just do it you know what I'm saying and I understand, like, you, you got certain circumstances to, to fulfill. Other, You know, even though we know this is our priority, but we still have other priorities that are in the world that have to be met. You know, you get fired, written up, you know. So, you don't want none of that to happen. The Lord understands, okay? So, I'm going to go from there to Matthew 5. And six, it says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Okay? And that's what you should, that's what you want. You want to be asking the Lord to um, uh, fill you. Okay? 
but not fill you to where you don't need this anymore, but to give you what is sufficient. Like the scriptures say when it goes into eating honey, okay? So I'm going to go into that word, hunger. All right. Okay, the outline of biblical usage, it says, to hunger be hung to be hungry to suffer want to be ready right um metaphor to crave ardently to seek with eager desire you see it's, it's self-explanatory going into not quenching the spirit you know but to follow the spirit you know Lord willing, Yahweh Bashman was shy. You know, it continues to be this way. That's what we should all want. You know, but if you can't make it onto the highways and the byways, make a video. Get into it. Edify, because you, you know that the the um the edification of the body is very important, man. Okay. We have to be more hungry and thirsty, especially in these last days, man. What does that mean? Is that we have to desire Yahweh Shai more than ever man especially when the evil days come our faith to be increased you know it says metaphor to crave ardently to seek with eager desire okay to crave when it says that it says down there at the strong's definition at the bottom to crave you know like you have a sweet tooth and you want to eat something sweet. Same thing, man. It's spiritual, man. It's beautiful. You know? Um, I'm going to look up that one. Like Let me look up that word where it says thirst. but also it's going to benefit us we know that when we do this work this ministry making videos going to the highways and the byways glorifying Yahweh Shai, doing the right things is to our benefit man it strengthens us it confirms in us that Yahweh Shai is pleased okay that we're doing the right thing okay it says to third strong's definition to thirst, literally or figuratively, to be, be a thirsty or thirst. Okay. Now I'm gonna end it with. Um, look up the. It's there in the uh, in the epistles. First Peter's. Two and two. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. You see, where it says strengthened. Okay, but we always have to remain as a child, as a newborn babe that desires the sincere milk of the word, man. Okay, because we have nothing else. The flesh desires. The flesh desires what it desires, but the spirit desires what is of the Most High. Okay, so it's about who we're feeding. Who we're giving it to, you know what I'm saying? Our mind, heart, and soul. All right. So I just wanted to bring this out as an example, you know, and you know, to brothers, you know, you know, just go out there and do what you have to do if you have that time. You know, don't use that time just to 